Hi, I'm Sophie Kelly. And I'm Gabby Jers. We're both research assistants working on butterfly development here at the MBL. Today we are going to be talking about butterfly metamorphosis. I'm sure you've probably all seen butterflies flying around in the spring and summer, and you may have even been lucky enough to spot some eggs or caterpillars under leaves in your backyard. But how does this all work? How do we get from egg to adult butterfly? In short, the answer is metamorphosis. If we break this word down into parts, we have meta, change, and morph, shape. So we have changing shape. But more specifically, butterflies go through a process called complete metamorphosis. This means they have four distinct life stages. The egg, the larva, the pupa, and the adult. So today we will be going through those four stages by discussing what they look like, how they behave, and how we get from one to the next. When we think about butterflies, we tend to think about the adult butterfly feeding on the attractive, large nectar flowers of summer. Yet, the life cycle begins as an egg delicately placed on a plant. These eggs come in a variety of shapes and sizes, yet they're very hard to see unless placed in a cluster. Butterflies are very specific on which plants they lay their eggs on as well. They want to make sure these plants will provide their young an ample amount of food. Each butterfly species has a specific plant that it will lay its eggs on. These plants are referred to as host plants. Milkweed is an example of a host plant for the monarch butterfly, and you can see milkweed throughout Woods Hole this time of the year. One thing you may notice about milkweed is it does not have the large, attractive flowers we think about when we think about butterflies, but this is actually very common to host plants. The, the purpose of this plant is for food, and the young caterpillar eats leaves. So these leafy, foliage-dominant plants provide just what the caterpillar needs. When the caterpillar hatches from an egg, it has reached its larval stage in life. The caterpillar's form and function is drastically different than the adult stage. Although both have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, the, the structures found on these parts are different between the two stages. A caterpillar has two distinct sets of legs. The three pairs of jointed legs found on the thorax are called true legs, and they will be preserved through metamorphosis. So remain with the caterpillar when it metam metamorphosizes. <laughs> The suction-like cup feet that are found on the abdomen are very helpful for the caterpillar to maneuver a leaf and to find food, but are not useful in the adult stage and are lost during the process of metamorphosis. The primary function of a caterpillar is to eat and to grow. During the larval stage, it will molt four to five times. This process allows the caterpillar to shed this rigid, hard cuticle layer, exposing a soft, fresh cuticle that is able to expand. This layer will harden eventually, but it does allow the caterpillar to grow just a little bit bigger. Each malt is thought of as a developmental change. The time between the malt is called an instar. Some caterpillars will change in pattern and shape during different instars, but some will remain looking the same throughout their entire larval stage of life. Eventually, the caterpillar pupates. Caterpillar sheds its, its skin similar to a malt before, but instead of exposing a new cuticle layer, it exposes a chrysalis. The pupa is the inactive form between the larva and the adult. Many of you know this as the chrysalis, which is a butterfly pupa. Or in moths, it is referred to as a cocoon, which is a protective silky layer that encases the moth pupa. Although from the outside, it doesn't look like they're doing very much, this is where the remarkable transformation takes place. This stage is the most confusing part of butterfly metamorphosis. Many people think that the entire caterpillar body dies inside the chrysalis and turns into a soupy mess from which a new adult body forms. But in fact, caterpillars already have underdeveloped adult body parts growing inside of them. Even before hatching, caterpillars have set aside cells that are destined to grow into adult body parts. For example, caterpillars are crawling around with tiny underdeveloped wings tucked right under their skin. The imaginal discs, or wing discs, are a group of cells that will eventually form the adult wings of the butterfly. If you dissect a caterpillar, you will find a total of four imaginal discs. 
one for each of the hind wings, the back wings of a four-winged insect, and one for each of the forewings, the front, often larger wings of a four-winged insect. As soon as the caterpillar pupates, the already existing wing discs rapidly mature and extend to form adult wings. One other example is the adult legs, the six jointed true legs, as opposed to the suction cup-like prolegs, of the caterpillar that Gabby mentioned earlier, become the six adult legs of the butterfly. Depending on the species, the butterfly can take weeks to several months to emerge from its chrysalis. When the adult emerges, it will release any built-up waste products from the chrysalis, usually in the form of a bright red liquid. This liquid is called meconium. Due to the tight space of the chrysalis, the butterfly must pump liquids from their body into their wings to fully inflate them before being able to take flight. Once flying, the adult butterfly will feed from nectar plants by sucking with its proboscis, a tongue-like feeding structure that acts like a straw. You may also see butterflies in puddles collecting water and salt, or on trees collecting sap. Some species are even able to digest pollen externally into a more liquid form to then suck up through their proboscis. The adult butterfly will then find a mate, and the females will find their host plant to lay their eggs on, thus starting the cycle all over again. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. And make sure to follow along with the rest of the activities to learn more about development.